Hi, this is Kent. I have a great lesson for you here. If you want to master your major scales without having to memorize any of them individually, to be able to visualize them instantly, each one, uh, then this lesson is, is for you. As you know, in music theory, in order to understand any of the basics of music theory, you got to know that major scale inside and out because it's the reference point for so many things. All right, so we're going to start with C major as our example. It's easy to see C major. Because it's all the white keys on the piano, starting from C up to C. There's a thing called the tetrachord. That's your going to be your tool for doing this. The tetrachord is four notes in the sequence that fit inside a scale. I'm holding down four notes right here. They happen to be the first four steps of the C major scale. Now we're going to look at a special tetrachord called the major tetrachord. The pattern for this is a whole step followed by another whole step, followed by a half step. So the first three notes are a cluster of notes that are a whole step apart from each other. Now if you can go all over the keyboard, starting on any note, and you can make a cluster like this, then you're 98% there on visualizing any major scale instantly. There's one, starting at F-sharp. Whole step, whole step. Starting on A. Whole step, whole step. The last thing we need to add to visualize any major tetrachord is a half step on the top of it. Back to C. Here's your top. That's a half step. There's the first three. The top pair is a half step apart. There's the whole thing. Let's go back to F sharp. Here's your first three. And we add one half step. Whole step right there. Whole step here half step here. So really the bulk of your practicing on getting these scales where you can see them instantly is to be able to go around grab a cluster of three whole tone notes add that half step. You'll be able to go all over the place. There's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, So you can see that each one visually looks different because of the arrangement of the black and the white keys for each one. But as far as whole steps and half steps, they look exactly the same. Okay. Final step, to be able to connect two major tetrachords to complete an entire scale. There's the bottom one of C major. I take one starting on G, going up to the top of the scale. That's also a major tetrachord, if you look at it. Here's one, here's the other, here's the entire scale. It's just one tetrachord, one major tetrachord, and the other. They're separated by a whole step. Here's the first one. Then I jump up a whole step from here up to here. And I got my whole thing. Okay, a couple more scales to show you what I mean now. We're really done here, okay? There's 
F sharp major, the first tetrachord. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. And I go up one whole step to here to complete the scale. That's the top tetrachord. Bottom one. Top one. How about D major? Here's the bottom tetrachord. Major tetrachord. I go from the top note up one whole step to finish the scale. That's my top major tetrachord for D major. So what you got to do is spend about an hour going around, first creating clusters of three notes in a whole step apart, be able to go all over the place, playing these guys. Start on every note. Try to do it randomly. Now, on each one of those, it's really easy to add the half step. The final thing to practice it's not going to take you very long at all, is to connect the two tetrachords for every, every scale. So D major, take that one, we move up a whole step for the second one. B flat major, first tetrachord, first major tetrachord, second major tetrachord. Starts here, starts here. There's the connecting notes. Top tetrachord. Bottom one. Pretty soon you'll be able to visualize those. You'll be able to look at any note and say, okay, I want a major scale coming from this one going up to the top note of that scale. You'll be able to really see it quickly. Just give it like an hour of going through this on any starting note. You should have it down. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.